Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by a chair. Kirk. Yo. We're looking at Sean Vicente de Paul Navs 47 Santosh Narayan Nye Oli. So the song from is from Sarpata Parambarai. Nye Oli from the movie Sarpata Parambarai, which we need to watch and review. Mm-hmm. And then the song is by Sean Vincent de Paul mm-hmm. Navs. Okay, yeah, whatevs. You guys got it. Cute. I'm loving the grain. Looks like 16 millimeter film. Yeah. Yeah. You can't bury alive anything that was ready to die. You can't clip wings made of fire. As God's work, the Phoenix Saga continues. Ooh. I really like the look of it. I wonder if this was actually shot on film. Yeah, it looks really good. Oh, that spaceship makes me think otherwise. What is the imagery? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, I'm loving this! Yeah, the movement's really cool. Yeah. As the kids say, it's fire. I love it. Love. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just visually, visually, that was stunning to me. Like I love, I love like kind of like film grain look that we were talking about initially. And then I just thought that so many of the frames that they were choosing just felt like you know, like it was inspired from high fashion or art, Mm -hmm. like just just the way that it was framed. Like there was there was a bit where the the male rapper was kind of standing in front of a window and he was just standing really still and you got to see his outfit and everything and just the way they they framed the whole scene there. 
and like just the use of fire and the lights and the stuff like that. I loved the, you know, the the mask, the kind of diamond mask that he was wearing and that gold mask that, that the, the lady was wearing, like the clothes and everything was so cool. And the dancers I loved, you know, the, the classical Indian dancing. I don't know which one that is, but then they also had the hip hop dancing and then they had the, the ballroom dancing with the hands and everything. And I'm obsessed with that. And I thought the, the song was just so cool as well. Like, I know that you're not really into a lot of the like bravado. I enjoyed the intensity behind mm-hmm. it all with with both uh, the male rapper and the female rapper. I was just like, yeah, like the song feels intense and it feels appropriate for the movie because it's, you know, it's a boxing movie. Mm-hmm. So like it totally makes sense to me. I thought the instrumentation was pretty cool. I think life is just ironic because at the time that you know we had those tools like 16 millimeter film and whatnot it's all we had so we had to work with what we had yeah as people right and so that grain and whatnot wasn't necessarily a desired look we were trying no. to get away from it and now we were obsessed with it to the point that we're you know doctoring our photos all the time and making them look muddy and rough around the edges because now we miss that look because it's nostalgic right yeah even the way this was shot it had that handheld film look and it made me wonder i couldn't tell honestly i couldn't tell like they did such a good job in terms of that look i couldn't tell if it was actually shot on film or if they just did that in post-production so excellent work there yeah like i said the instruments the the background score i thought that was cool the costumes the visuals were very very interesting the lyrically i liked uh or just the vocals. I like. I, th- I thought the girl was awesome. Yeah. In terms of the guy, um, as you know, I'm not into that like faux bravado stuff. To me, it's like if you have something to say, then say it. But if you're going to talk about you know hip hop artists from doing other music and stuff like that, so to speak, referring to other people in your field and saying how they're you're the best out of yeah. everybody, I just doesn't appeal to me for some odd reason. To me, it just distracts from whatever the message could have been in this video. If that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, no, I, I get you and I, I understand where you're coming from. But sometimes I just I kind of enjoy that feeling of overcoming adversity. As sure, it were. that's Cause, fine. Cause like, I, I get that. I get that from the song. It kind of feels a little bit like Eminem, uh, the song from 8 Mile. But it kind of has that feeling of like, you know, I couldn't buy my mom groceries, couldn't, couldn't buy my kid lunch or whatever. And now I'm taking my mom out to buy a house for, uh, after brunch. You know, it, it's that feeling of like, I came from nothing and now I'm on top and so like I don't have a problem it's just when every single song that you make is about that sense of like being the best or false bravado or whatever mm-hmm. that I'm like yeah okay it gets kind of boring but this song you know this is the first time I've right, heard but it's, of this it's artist. not just it's not just the same artist doing that kind of thing over and over again it's just that so many people are doing that same exact idea he was very very skilled at stringing together a bunch of words yeah. without without taking a breath yeah I was, sure i was very the, impressive yes, with breath control that, that is impressive however yeah. there wasn't a musicality to it where i'm going oh and then it's in, in, invigorating me and making me want to like bop my head to it uh, it was okay. just like he was just stringing together a lot of sound and i'm like okay that's great but there's no rhythm to it I, that i was that oh. i was enjoying Personally. Okay, for me, I, I, I can still kind of enjoy that, like, I guess that, like, it, more, like, staccato rhythm or, or something. I'm just kind of going with a... Yeah, da, 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 to me, yeah, this, even, even the sound you're making right now yeah. feels monotonous. That's the thing. It's, like, it's just the same kind of, like, it's one pitch the whole way. Whereas the woman singing has this, like, variation in her right. vocals that's, like, oh, okay, that's music. That's a, that's a sound that you're making that is, like not everyone can do that. So all he's showing me is that he's got good breath control. And I'm like, okay. Not everyone can do good breath control though. I get it, but like everyone, but like there's a lot of people who can do good breath control and say the same, say the exact same message. That's all I'm getting at. It's like, I'm not taking away the fact that he's skilled at what he's doing. I'm saying why it doesn't appeal to me. Sure. That's all I'm saying. That's that's It's like, it's just like, there's not enough, there's not a lot of variety from that exact same idea that I've seen elsewhere a billion times where some guy's rapping with great breath control saying how you know people used to not take him seriously now he's the best of the best fuck all the other rappers i'm the best it's like what's different there that we haven't already heard a thousand times it's like it started out so promising for me i was like oh my god this is so different this is so cool and then it went into the hip-hop thing and i'm like i've i grew up with this this is not different you're just showing me that you can replicate everything i grew up with that's not special tell me your story that's cool why yeah. do you have to why does it have to have bad words? That's my question. It's like how does that make this better? How does that like enhance this? You know what I mean? 
Sure. Uh, but that's me being yeah. a prude. Like I'm I'm not the hip hop person between the two of us. That's why everything I'm expressing is why I generally stay away from it. Now, I, there's a lot of positive that I, I, I can take from this. Like I said, I like the, the female vocals. I thought that was cool. I think I feel like the um, duality of him and her was kind of cool. Like conceptually, I thought that was neat. I liked it. It's just that after four minutes, I was like, I didn't feel anything different at the end of the four minutes that I didn't get in the first 45 seconds. No, I mean, I I guess so. But like just being a song, I'm like, yeah, I, I dig it. Like I, I can totally see how it relates to the film. I can imagine where it comes in, where it's either like a training montage or like a big fight or something like that. I like the it, choreography and the dance. Yeah, the, the choreography was great. I loved the, the kind of blend of cultures that they were doing, which mm -hmm. is something that I really enjoy when, when you get something like hip hop mixed with, you know, Indian music and Indian culture and stuff. And it's like, how do you marry the two together? And, and, and when it's done well, it's, it's such a treat to watch. And, and I just thought visually it was just, so so stunning like it felt like a throwback to the old more majestic times in in the 80s and like the the high fashion of that of those times and stuff like that and like all of the nostalgic feels yes. from from how it was I agree shot with and you. everything it was just it was so stunning i, I think all that stuff is super cool try to imagine if michael jackson's music was him talking about how he's the greatest pop singer of all time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I it's, get it. It's I like, what if, just... what if all the Beatles were talking about how they're the greatest rock band of all time and they kept talking about that over no, and over No, but again? like if you listen to Beatles songs, a lot of the Beatles songs are just like talking about relationships and stuff like that. No one complains. There's not two Beatles songs that are the same. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You can tell it's the Beatles, but there's no two Beatles songs that are the same. I don't even like the Beatles. I and mean, I can I can admit that there's no two Beatles songs that are the same, except when they reprise it for like the bookends of an album or something like that. Sure. Right, like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And so that's all I'm getting at is like, I'm tired of that faux bravado stuff where it's like, I'm the baddest of the, of the baddest. Like, but why? <laughs> like, but why? Yeah, why? but I mean, you know, people enjoy this though. I get it. I don't know why. This is where I'm like, I'm I don't belong to this generation. I don't get this. Okay. Uh, everything else in the song I thought was cool. I thought his look was cool. He's got an intensity about him that's pretty neat. I just feel like there's something underneath all of this faux bravado that he could be expressing instead that would be way more interesting. And he could he could vary up the musicality in his in his vocals. It's a type of rap though. Like there there's certain different types of of rappers and stuff. And like I feel like this is a type of rap where it's just more monotonous. Monotonous and it's just the beat. And it's just you know like changing up the beat. How is monotony changing up a beat? Well, his the tone of his voice mm -hmm. is more like one level, right? But then he is changing up the beat. He's getting faster and like varying it up that way. But or, you okay? You referred like, to you referred to Eminem earlier. Yeah, Eminem never does that. Eminem still has variety, even though he raps fast. Even though he's got aggro in his voice, he's got aggression in his voice. Even though he uses profanity, he still has these levels to his. His, his uh the way he's saying and expressing himself sure i'm just saying that that's a different is a different way you know you're saying that you you want people to be individuals and stuff and so maybe that's just his individual way of rapping no sure you're i mean you're expressing the the favorable side yeah that's and which is the majority obviously i mean look at the votes there's sixty seven thousand up 940 down and i would imagine most of the people downvoting didn't even really listen to the song they were just downvoting because they hate for some odd reason that they're not actually picking an apartment they're not actually analyzing the video like the way we are it's just personal preference that's all i'm saying you guys it's like don't hate on jabby oh i see you're yeah. defending me i yeah. see what you're saying okay i didn't yeah. know that's what you were doing i thought you were like just basically undermining my opinion like telling me that might no, doesn't no, matter no no i'm just like because sometimes and sometimes people are like oh why is jabby such like ugh, just like raining on the parade i'm like no you guys this is just jabby's opinion Right, and like I'm, I'm also trying to like offer the uh, alternate side and to say like, okay, well, this is a style of music, and like there's merit in that as well. Mm -hmm. But equally, your opinion matters, you know, because for you, this isn't normally the type of stuff that you would listen to. Even though the music video is really dope, the the music itself is great. You're just not as enamored. Let's with, take okay. With the let's, male let's, let's let's take let's take this exact same song without that that male rapper and put in his place something that A.R. Rahman would contribute. What would that sound like? It would be a different song. It would be, it would be a song. 
<laughs> it would be it would be a real song because he would be throwing in variations and some kind of like he wouldn't be talking about how awesome he is as A.R. Rahman and how he's got all these accolades and fuck all the bitches like he wouldn't be coming in with that sort of attitude he'd actually just be expressing something meaningful and sure. and that's it and you don't need to add in all that other stuff that you've seen a billion other rappers do that's boring we've seen that stop doing that I want to stop seeing that okay. in hip hop because it's boring it's not new it, it be original. You're talking about him, you know, express, he, being an individual, right? Mm. It's like, that's not individual though if you're just copycatting something else that you've seen. Dude is obviously talented enough. All I'm saying is I have a higher standard here and I think he is totally capable of doing that. Not that my standard fucking matters, but if he's listening and he pays attention to what I'm fucking saying at all, like I think he's more capable than that. That's all I'm getting at. Sure. Like he's obviously capable enough to get this shit together. I'm not a music person. I'm not a composer. I'm not an artist. I don't know. I'm not a musician in that regard. But like I've listened to a lot of songs of a lot of different genres. Mm -hmm. And so that's my feeling from that perspective. And, you know, and this includes Indian music as well. Not that I'm an expert on Indian music, but having listened to quite a few of them from the films and whatnot. Yeah. And American music and, and Asian music in general. I'm like, yeah, I feel like we can do better than that. Sure. You know, but that's just me, you know, my dumb two cents, not being someone who is generally predisposed towards hip hop for the reasons I just mentioned. Right. It's like, I feel like we can do better than this. Okay. But everything else I said positive, I meant. Yeah. You know, I meant all of that. I think like, you you know, you picked up on the look right away. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought the dance choreography was pretty cool. I thought her music was pretty cool. I think the energy in the video in general is pretty cool. I just wish that he did more than what he did for four minutes straight. I mean, I feel like you ought to write a petition to all the rappers and all the hip hop No, obviously I'm in the minority. <laughs> obviously, like, obviously. You need to stop. Obviously, fuck me in my opinion, you know, it's that's that's what it comes down to. It's like I remember a long time ago and I'll try to wrap this up quickly. Uh, I was getting into an argument with, an, with a friend of mine about the movie Avatar mm -hmm. and he was saying how he thought it was the worst thing to ever happen to humanity. Like he thought he just thinks it's awful. The this James was, Cameron. The, yeah, the James Cameron movie. Okay. This is before it made two billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And after it crossed a billion, he and I got into a conversation. He and he's like, look, I, I was probably being really hard on the movie, but you know, Avatar obviously doesn't care about my opinion. It made a billion dollars. It's yeah. doing just fine without my stupid opinion. Yeah. And so that, I'm saying the same thing here. It's like my opinion doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Obviously, people en are enjoying this. Well, yeah. And this is, you know, you don't listen to hip hop music. It's not something. I would if they did more. That's all I'm trying to get at. Earlier today, we listened to a song from RRR. That was a song. Right. Like there was instrumentation but in there there like was drums in there there was like all there was a, it was a collection a symphony of different sounds and there was there's actual a, you could there argue was actual, that there's yes, a symphony of different sounds but then yeah. he but then it got ruined by the monotony of the rap i wish there was just a more musicality to it as opposed to it's just i think what you, what it boils down to is that it's a personal chase thing for you because i think uh, but maybe I, feel like I, might... I feel like you're undermining my opinion though because like the thing about it is it's like okay we're here to i'm expressing my opinion because it's i i'm half i'm half of this video sure so there you go. So what I'm saying is, I feel like we can, they can do better. That's it. I understand that. And I, I don't completely disagree with you. I think just what I'm trying to say is your understanding of music is uh, like one way. You're like that our, our, our song we listen to, there's musicality, there's, uh, there's variation, a melody, yeah. there's variation, there's, there's all of that. I'm probably not the best person to argue for this because I'm I'm also not like I don't know all the hip hop history like I know some of it. I did do some research on it in in college and stuff. I think you have to understand that it's also a different type of music, you know, like maybe someone who loves classical music who listens to pop music finds it disgusting Abhorrent. and and yeah, I get gross that. and so okay. I think it's kind of a similar thing there where you, you're you're applying a different set of like musical parameters. I've got my lens and everyone else has theirs. Joy and Jami, I liked a lot. Yeah. That was rap. That was hip hop, wasn't it? Yeah. So, so I mean, at least it kind of belongs in that genre. Yeah, sure, yeah. I like that. And I had no qualms with that video or that music whatsoever. I thought that was dope. Yeah. And it's because of the reasons I mentioned. It's like, it's got meaning. It's not talking about how badass they are. It's got cool like visuals and whatnot. Like, I don't see why we should not aspire for that every time. Sure. You know? But anyway, I'm, fuck me. So <laughs> my opinion doesn't matter. No, um, it does, it you, does. You, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoy that. I'm Jabby Coy. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.